Figure shows a ray of monochromatic red light in air, incident on a glass block at an angle of incidence of 48 degrees. A. State what is meant by monochromatic light. Light may be monochromatic or spectrum. The light spectrum contains waves of different wavelengths and different frequencies that are traveling together in one beam. Sometimes a beam contains only one type of light with a single wavelength and a single frequency. This is a monochromatic light. So monochromatic light is light of single wavelength or you can say light of single frequency. Question B. Without measuring angles, use a ruler to draw the approximate path of the ray in the glass block and emerging from the block. In this question, we don't use angles. He just wants you to draw an approximate path of the ray. You know that when light travels from rare to dense, it bends towards the normal. This is our normal, the dotted black line, which is perpendicular to the side of the block. We need first to imagine if this light ray will go straight forward without breaking. And we said before, this will not happen. When light travels from a rare medium to a denser transparent medium, it will break towards the normal. This is the broken red light towards the normal. Now he wants you to draw the emerging light ray going out of the transparent glass block. This case is a light traveling from denser medium to rare medium. So this must break away from the normal. So let us imagine this light ray going without bending and now break it away from the normal. You don't need to keep these lines in your diagram. As this case involves refraction in a rectangular block, the emergent ray going out of the block must look parallel to the original ray coming into the glass block. This is an important thing to take care of. Question C. The red ray in figure is replaced by a ray of monochromatic violet light. Use a ruler to draw the approximate path of this violet ray in the glass block and emerging from the block. Make sure this path is separated from the path drawn for the red light in B. Mark both parts of this path with the letter V. In this case, the same will happen, but the difference between the violet ray and the red ray, that violet will break towards the normal more than the red. Then, when this violet ray emerges from the block, it will do the same. It will bend away from the normal. So this is our normal, and this is the extension. If this light ray goes with no bending, this is how it will bend away from the normal. Make sure that this light ray will be parallel to the emerging red ray. And this will be how our diagram will look like.